let's go hands-on with Apple's new journal app available for iPhone. Welcome everybody, welcome to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and Apple released iOS 17 this fall. And when it did, it announced a new application that it had been developing, but it wasn't gonna make it in time for the launch. The app is called Journal and it's gonna be launching very soon, at least for the iPhone. I have a first early look at this application. I'm gonna walk you through everything, what the app is like, how you get it, what it looks like, just everything that you need to know. So let's go ahead and dive into it. So here we are with my iPhone 15 Pro Max and I have the journal app that we're gonna be checking out. Now this does automatically install with iOS 17.2, but it is technically available on the App Store. Can you download it? Only if you have iOS 17.2. So not everyone can just download this from the App Store, but you can view the listing and check it out for yourself. And it has several screenshots walking through the different features, uh, what you kind of want to post, all of that information here. Right now it is only available on iPhone. In the future, this can be coming to iPad and Mac, but right now this is iPhone only and it'll likely stay that way for the release of the application with other platforms being added in the future. So let's go ahead and open the journal app. Now the first thing you see, it is protected. It is locked by either face ID or a passcode so that you can set that up. This is very important. Privacy is very secure here or very important for the journal application aside from passcode or face ID to gain entry to it. Everything is just protected and encrypted locally. Even these recommendations that we're gonna talk about, all of these suggestions are actually just stored privately within the app and it's all encrypted so no one has access to it. I've kicked things off by adding a few things here to the journal app, a few different types of media that we can look through. Obviously you can scroll back, so we have things like locations that can be added, photos, text, these are prompts. Here's some audio, um, and we have more photos here towards the top. So here you can see we're looking through photos, it gives you a nice full screen view, tap on the screen to make it black, um, just brings the photos out more, they allow them to pop, looks really cool. I like this little viewing of this and depends on what you're looking at, so audio, this doesn't really uh, do much other than just allow you to play it back, go back, we have our prompts that they've suggested, more photos along with text, text can be expanded out, you can do there at the bottom. And locations, again, it just pulls up into this nice full screen view so you can look at what you've added here, uh, reminisce and kind of look at what you've done. When you look at these, you can also filter in the top right hand corner. You can look at all entries, just those with maybe photos added. You can view any just that have recorded audio pieces, um, reflections, if you've added any of those, like this prompt was a reflection. Or the last one here is just places that you've been. So we headed out and checked out this brewery there one day. Looks really cool. Or go back to all entries. To add a new entry, it's as easy as you think with this big plus button here at the bottom. Press the plus button and you can automatically tap new entry, but there's these recommendations down here below. So we have reflection, 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 and all of these you can refresh. So maybe you don't want to look at these uh, or you want to look at a different one, just tap this little button here and it'll give you a new reflection that you can check out and use that as your prompt. So if you want to use this one, tap on it, it puts the prompt at the top and you allow, it allows you to write down below. Go ahead and we're gonna just delete that entry. Go back to adding that uh, here. So there's a journaling suggestion that it's giving you. It can give recommendations based on what you do, who you're with, where you've gone, all these kinds of different things. It's pretty cool. So here's recent. I don't have anything near added in there yet, but as over time, that'll start to populate. So just go ahead and tap on new entry. I can start typing my text here, right at the top. So hey there, just testing out journal. Almost, there we go. So a few things you can do. First, this magic one here, which is gonna pull up those suggestions again from there at the bottom. You have photos, you can pull in any photos that you wanna add. You can bring this full screen and search the different photos. Open the camera, of course, and just shoot photos directly into here. You can add audio, just tap and start recording. Or location there at that right hand side. Other than that, you can add your text here at the top. You can mark this as kind of a favorite or bookmarked. You can unmark that there. At the top, we do allow you to, or Apple allows you to change the date. So it has your entry date, or you can do custom date. So if I added something like a photo into here, like me and H, uh, you can actually tap this and it'll pull it from the actual entry or the photo or change it to a custom date. And you can just pick from down here below. So nice to be able to add a little bit more control there for these journal entries. Tap on done, boom, it's added it right there at the top. Tap on the three little dots where again, you can edit it. You could bookmark it, same as before, or just go ahead and remove it. 
I'm kind of surprised how just really simple this app is. There is time for Apple to build this out more, maybe with more options, but like there's no really thing for, for settings. I even checked in the actual settings application. Like this is just really simple and bare bones, which is great because it makes it just easily accessible, very private, and just kind of allows you to do what you want to do with it. Like I said, maybe Apple's gonna continue to add new features that you can pull into this app. I wouldn't mind seeing like health information being pulled in. Maybe we could pull in fitness information. That would be really nice. These are things that Apple definitely could do and it could in the future, even before the launch of the journal application. But let me know what you guys think. Are you gonna give it a spin? Let me know down below in the comments, on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU or on threads at Andrew O'Hara 941. Always stay tuned, get a lot more videos coming your way.